All right, so we've got 20 minutes of video, and uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be out for 20 minutes, but we're going to play with this little tugboat and uh, see what happens. So we already got the stern line off. I'm going to throw the bow, and we got a decent charge. So before I get off the dock, um, just want to explain a little bit about what's here. I've got two drives that can rotate 360 degrees. Um, they're electric, they're trolling motors, if you couldn't already tell. And I've pulled out the normal uh, control throttles on them and replaced them with pulse width modulators. Um, basically, they're chopper drives that allow you to maintain your full voltage when the drive is on uh, during a waveform that's uh, basically a square wave. Um, but when you want less power, you just chop out the amount of time that it's at 12 volts uh, to lower that power, as opposed to actually lowering the voltage or limiting the current through some type of resistive process. So uh, these are more efficient. And uh, yeah, so you can see if I power up one with the drive facing this way, it pushes me that direction. And if I turn on the other one, it counters it. And if I power them both up equally, I end up with kind of a matched bit of thrust. So I'm gonna just keep ramping these up until we're at full power. You can kind of see it moving slow, but now we're at full power and I'm gonna start turning us away from the dock. So here we go. Going backwards, of course. Uh, but we'll flip around here and head out. So you can see there's our boat in the background, home sweet home, Caro di Colline, the Chariot of the Hills, now the Chariot of the Blanchards. And we've got a beautiful night out here. Um, yeah, so here we go. Here's full speed ahead. Um, ahead being that way. And you can see the drives are both aligned in that fashion. If I turn one to the side while leaving the other fixed, you can see we're able to initiate turns and use it like a traditional rudder uh, in a sailboat. If I use both of them, uh, no surprise, it does the same exact thing, except that it goes faster. And it also means that both drives are facing in one direction, which means if I want to check my swing, I have to then bring one of those or both drives all the way into the opposite direction. And it's not such a big deal with a small boat like this that uh, is manually connected to the drives where I can just literally turn them and the drives are uh, at the ends of my hands essentially. Uh, but on a real tugboat with azimuthing stern drives or azimuthing drives, uh, or even a cruise ship for that matter, you would have um, a delay because you basically have an electronic control handle and that's connected to a computer which is connected to sensors that uh, can tell if uh, the drive's in a particular position and it's not as fast. So because of that lag, uh, you don't actually have the ability to just switch your drives over like instantly like this and then back in the other direction like this. Uh, it's much slower. If I were to say, uh, you know, make a, a control turn like this with my right hand, um, it might be a few seconds until you start seeing that actual turn of the boat. So the latency there is, uh, is a challenge. So uh, whenever you're making turns with both drives, you gotta be really careful to always leave one kind of in a safety position so that if uh, you need to maneuver, you can have another drive pointed in the opposite direction to counter. So uh, imagine I'm, I'm turning like this and I need to turn back, but it doesn't go very fast. It's like, okay, still coming around, still coming around. That turn takes forever to end. So uh, by having a single drive like this, uh, what I can do is only have to turn it back a little bit until we're in a neutral uh, position. The other thing I can do is if I were to make a turn with this drive, I can pull down the power on this one, which makes effectively this the one drive that's steering us, but then I can pre-position this other drive just ready to go at the moment's notice in the opposite direction if I need to. So what that means is I can make that turn that I was originally planning on doing, but if I need to abandon and uh, stop that turn, I can immediately crank up the power on this other drive and stop the turn because it's pointed in the opposite direction. 
alternatively, you can pull down the power on the drive that's making the turn uh, to slow that turn as well. So if you had a single turn like this and you wanted to do a rest it momentarily, you would turn one drive down, which is going to be counterclockwise, and you would turn the other drive up. So like that. So you can see how that would kind of work there. Anywho, uh, I'm going to put them both at full blast again, and we're going to go uh, drive around a little bit. Uh, one thing I, I want to illustrate is how these uh, ASD boats can uh, walk sideways. So what we'll do is come down here by these duckies, because who doesn't love ducks? And uh, I'm going to put my, my stern towards these fenders. Uh, it's actually an oil barrier, and uh, see see how we can maintain our heading and also walk around. So here we go. All right. So here's what walking looks like with one of these here tugboats. Da -da 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 -da. You can see everything passing by. We can get a little bit closer if we want. And you know, there's some similarities to helicopters um, in that, you know, you can look down your path of travel, and that's often how you want to maneuver. Um, oh, there's a bump, there's a bump, there's a bump. And then, of course, we can bring this around and match up a little better. But we can just keep going like this all day long. And, uh, of course, I can switch it up, so we're going to go like so. That's going to arrest that motion, and then we're going to come back the other direction. And part of me feels like this is a parlor trick, kind of like the, the same thing of like spinning around really fast. Like if you want to impress people with like, oh wow, that tug is so maneuverable. Uh, all all you, you ever see people do is like these epic like where they're just doing full power turns and they're going really fast and really spinny and everybody's supposed to be blown away by just how fast and spinny that is. Um, which is neat and all, um, but I'm not a huge fan of, of just that sort of thing. I, I like to see the other elements to how these things work. So walking sideways like this is uh, one of those things. Um, the other thing is the, the speed at which you can brake. So um, obviously we've got full power ahead here and well, we can make about 2.3 knots. Um, but the cool thing is that you know, I can go from zero, from 2.3 to zero, uh, like immediately. So, you know, you'll see me coming back here and it's like, oh wow, Danny, you're gonna smash into that barrier. Uh, you know, it's three feet away. But then, like, I'm not even close to touching. Well, I mean, that was a few inches, but um, just with a quick drive reversal, you can stop all your motion. Uh, and, you know, then you can do a, a slow pivot by changing them up like this. Um, and then find yourself, you know, pushing back into your, your, your object that you want to be at. And you can float around, and you're like, oh, that's perfectly where I want to be. Yep, yep, yep. And then you're like, nope, it's not. Actually, I want to shift over a little bit. I need to move a few feet. No, no, yep, no, 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 no. Mm, stop it. Yep, stopping it. Okay. Then you might come into, like, the happy place neutral position. Kind of be like, okay, I'm going to hover here for a sec, and then we're going to launch away because we're going to go get back underway. Uh, you know, you can come in nice and tight like this. Of course, blast sideways as you see fit. Carry on a path, and then as soon as you want to swap around, you can totally just say, hey, I'm going to go and move the whole tug in this direction and carry on like this. So, um, it's fun. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video. Uh, short now because I think I've done just about every maneuver that you do on these uh, other than towing um, You know while I'm here. We might as well go uh, No, I'm not gonna tie on anything because this camera um, Isn't facing anywhere. Uh, I mean I could easily flip it around so that you can see my towing bridle set up um, But you wouldn't see how I'm controlling things here. I would much rather for a, a towing um, set up, have the camera behind me or off 
off on my, my, my shoulder, um, kind of like back in here, so you can see the drive position and you can see the tow line and then you can see how it affects the, the vessel. But anyway, we're in the shade now, so I'm kind of guessing that this thing is going to be struggling to get decent light. Um, and also, I don't know how these audio levels are with the lavalier microphone. I think my, my brain is kind of tied into thinking that there's a shotgun uh, in front of me that I need to project to. Um, anyhow, I'm going to show you our boat because I think it's pretty. Look at that. That's our boat. Amy's in there somewhere. She's making a delicious meal. Um, I love that she loves cooking. So, yeah, that's a... Uh, Super sweet. And then, uh, let's see where I'm going to sneak in towards our bow here. Then we're going to spin around. And we're home. All right, this will be real tied off without destroying the camera with our bow line. 